There is a wide variety of methods that you can utilize to assist you in your identification. Let's collect a new image. Alright, so this is an area of interest. What I'm more interested in right now is I'd like to analyze one of these very bright regions. So with that, let's zoom up a little bit more. I'm going to use my annotation here and I'm going to highlight just within that region there. So now I'm going to set my acquisition to manual mode for the time being. Hit acquire and here comes my spectrum. Now the system is automatically uh, doing the auto analysis for me so it's doing an ID and doing quant as it flies, uh, as it collects data and the st statistics and proof. Now a couple things here. There are a wide variety of tools that I can use to assist myself. So what I'm going to quickly do right now is I'm going to turn off the automated analysis and I'm going to bring up the periodic table tool. This allows me to do everything myself. So if I hear clear all, that'll clear out the list. At this point, I can simply click on any KLM marker, bring it up onto the display. Again, utilizing this tool, I can move it up and down an atomic number, following the basis of Mosley's Law. I can click on multiple markers at any time and bring them up. I can utilize the computer assisted ID, so it means I simply point to the peak, it shows me what the possibility is or I can use the right mouse button to scan a range and get more possibilities simply clicking on it, it brings it up onto the display so I can see exactly how it fits so obviously here the calcium is the best fit or I can utilize the auto ID function with auto ID there's a down arrow key which means there's a menu so I can set elements I know I'm never going to see so anything that's gray means don't consider it. So if I don't want, I know I'm never going to use osmium in any of my analysis, I can simply click on it and t that tells the system don't even consider it, I never see it. Anything that's blue means consider. So if I wanted osmium in, I just click on it again. So it's just a simple toggle. I can also set minimum concentration. So typically I like to do this for the trace element. So I will usually set this somewhere between 20.25 uh, and one and a half percent and let the system do all the majors for me. Okay, so, uh, closes down that panel. So now I'm just going to quickly do a clear all to clear off all the possibilities. I'm going to let Auto ID have a crack at this. So Auto ID has come through here and uh, from the analysis set and this is the current ID that it's come up with. So it looks at this rare earth grouping and these are all the KLM markers it sees. I can then scale them dynamically and that looks pretty good. The problem is without breaking this overlap apart I can't see all the components. Auto ID did it by util basically utilizing quant. So it's doing a full quantitative analysis. So I can do that myself as well. So under quantify if you have a down arrow key which allows you to load any of the other methods it also shows you that if you're in automatic mode rotary this is a one-shot analysis so I simply click on it it updates the display if I click on it again so I get the parallel lines this is an interactive analysis so now this panel appears and it shows me down here what my quant results look like. It shows me graphically what the results of the deconvolution are. So I can turn on and off like the background. So I like seeing the background fit to see exactly how that looks. That looks pretty good. And now we can look at our deconvolution results over here. So here are each of the individual components. So I can turn them off for a minute and look at the results. So here is lanthanum's contribution by itself. Here is cerium's contribution by itself. Here is neodymium's contribution by itself and here's the combination. And overall that looks pretty good except for this area in here and this area over here and a little bit within here. 
So pointing to that and double clicking brings back the periodic table. Now when I click on Praesidinium, it immediately filled that area in and shows me the results of it. If I take it out, we can immediately see what the effect is. So obviously, we missed a little trace of praseodymium. We can do the same thing over here, and we see iron as a possibility. And again, as soon as I click that in, it fills it out. So we can go through the analysis list, make any adjustments that we wish for any element, and have the system updated for me automatically. So now we could look at all the individual components. So if I'm satisfied with that result, I can simply come in here now and say, let's take this data and let's add this to my report. Down here, it's showing me all the individual analysis set up as my default. And again, if you wish to change that, you can over here simply by clicking on the properties icon. It also shows me the estimated density based on formula and what my x-ray interaction depth, so both depth and lateral to the beam, what it would be. So if I, if I want, I can also say, let's add this to my report. OK, accepts the results, closes it down, and updates the display. So if I wish now, let's put all of this into my report. So we can show the overall spectrum. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to come in here and say add to report. And now here's my data f showing the deconvolution, showing the results from the quant up there and the output of the results. This shows me the image and the overall spectrum in that. If you want the individual deconvolution, we can do that as well simply by going back into quantify. and now highlighting exactly what we want the system to show. So with that, we hit OK. Uh, we now say Add to Report. And when we look at the report now, there's our results showing all the individual components. So we can look at the overall with that. And now as I add more, cap more to the information, it'll keep appending to the page in the report. So you have a, a lot of different methods to assist you in the ID. You can manually bring them up simply by clicking on any KLM marker at any time. You can move them up and down an atomic number simply by pointing to the one you want. You can use the computer assisted ID, which means point to the area and it shows you the possibility or highlight the region. Or you can use the auto ID function. And at any point in time, if you go to quantify and hit the interactive mode, it will allow you to see the individual components. So you can see each of the aspects that make up the results. So that when you're done, you can be sure of your ID is correct.